What's up, Lena? Peggy, it's the arches. It's Phil, isn't it? Peggy, Peggy! Peggy feels all right. It's Jamie. Where are they? He's all right, just give him a second. I could see him. <laughs> Jamie's gone! Mum, come on, get out of here, Mum. He's not safe. Jamie's dead! Get out of here. Frank, he can't be here then. Please tell me he isn't. Oh, darling, come on. Let's go back. There's nothing you can do now. Come on, let's go back. <laughs> Calm down. I'm scared the life out of me. What do you think it was? Well, knowing the Mitchells, it was probably an insurance claim. <laughs> you shouldn't have been in there. I made him go in there. Grant, not now. I said not now. Jamie was in there. Jamie? No, no, I just saw Jamie. What? I just saw him going into the cab. When? Two minutes ago. I just left there. <laughs> <coughs> what happened to you? I was just about to come looking. Jamie, we thought he's at the arches. Your lock was busted. I went and got a new There's one. been an accident. The arches have gone up this smoke. I was just in there. Yeah, I know. We thought he's inside. He's all right. What did you say about the locks? Did someone try and break in? That's what it looked like. Those blokes that came oh, round earlier. Oh, not now. Someone tell me what's going on. So Jamie was definitely all right. Oh, it's fine. It's a miracle the place was empty. Well, we're already under control. Filled with a fire crew. And Grant is cleaning out the gym. Do you know that the explosion blew out all the windows? Have you any idea what caused it? Uh, it can be many a number of things, darling, can't it? You know, a petrol leak, a little spark. <laughs> Frank, is there anything you need me to do? Indeed there is, darling. Could you go downstairs and open Lena out for five minutes for me? Yeah, sure. You're a good girl. Hey, come on. Come on. No one was hurt. Yeah, but I've easily been so different. But they wasn't, and that's what you've got to keep telling yourself. Frank, I'm getting too old for this. Well, you know, maybe you're, uh, maybe a change of scenery wouldn't be such a bad thing after all, eh? I can't sell up now. Not after all this. Oh, what? It was an accident. These things happen. Yeah, but I worry about them. You worry less if there was a bit of distance between you. I don't know about that. Look, excuse me, Peggy. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I, I thought you decided to put yourself first in this decision. Well, didn't you? Yes. Right. Forget about everybody else. What do you, Peggy Butcher, want to do? Peggy, that is no answer, sweetheart. I mean, I, I know it's difficult for you, but you've got to make a decision. 